Hey guys, so if you are unable to install STAAD using the previous method that I've shown, there is an alternative that we can um, use. Yung, ginami, yung demonstration kasi previously, that is uh, known as on-demand installer ng software. So on-demand siya because automatic na from the, the cloud, it will be downloaded and installed automatically on your local machine. But it would be a little bit difficult if your internet connection is a little bit unstable since matagal yung download process niya sometimes nagkakaroon ng error network problems we will not be able to install the software already so ang alternative dito is we can actually create a deployment image installer kumbaga coming from out other networks other computer let's say computer shop or kaya in from other networks sa ibang bahay siguro no? so if you have some acquaintances na medyo may keep medyo capable yung internet nila you can use this one create deployment image so this is a community help guide or guide you can actually find this under Bentley communities you can just type there is dito sa my search steps to create deployment image for Staad Pro CE I'll just paste the link on our paste ko na lang yung link doon sa ating Google Classroom. So anyway, ito yung steps. So number one, we'll, we'll still have to download the installer. So i-download natin yung installer. Let me see if I have one. Hanap tayo. So let me look for Stad. So where's my installer? Ayun, so ito yung setup. Ito yung ginamit ko back when I was installing the software. So, wait lang. So, nawala. Mm, medyo magulo yung aking download folder. Anyway. Ayan. So, stad pro. Right? So, setup uh, underscore stad pro. Ito yung installer. So, I'll remember the name or I can just simply do this one. So, I'll create a notepad. Or, I mean, open a notepad and then rename this one. Or, uh, better yet, properties. And then, pupunta tayo ng... Um, yeah, let me copy the entire file name. Then, balik ako sa notepad. And then, I'll... Copy the location. So I'll copy the location. And then, let me place it be before the file name. Kailangan natin kopyahin kasi yung file path niya. Yeah. So, lalagyan ko ng, ng forward slash. If I'm not mistaken. So, lalagyan natin to ng slash dito. Ito yung uh, path ng ating software itself. Yung installer. If um, and then, after nyan, babalik tayo dun sa may um, guide. Which is somewhere around here. Ayan, so we go back and then... So, ito yung file path natin. All you need to do is add some quotation marks all around the file, file path. And lalagyan natin ng quotation mark. And then, backslash. So, take note na ito is back. Yeah, this one is backslash and then ito is forward slash. Yeah. After yan is we uh, type layout. So, dadagdagan natin ng uh, backslash layout. Right? After nyan, kukopyin ko yung entire um, name. So, I'll copy the entire name right here. And then, pupunta ako dun sa start menu ng aking uh, machine dito. Right? And then, I'll type run. So, magra-run tayo ng application uh, using this one. Right? Paste lang natin yung yung 
nilagay natin or yung tinipe natin doon sa notepad. And all you need to do is press OK. Right. So, we'll just have to wait for the installation to proceed. So, mag-open mag yung installer. Uh, uh, depende, depende na lang sa, sa capacity ng machine ninyo. So, sometimes medyo matagal yung process. So, let, let me just pause the video until mag run yung installer. Right. So, ito yung alabas. So, initializing setup. So, instead na on-demand yung software, mag-download mag and um, mag-install, ito naman, i-download lang natin yung installer. And then, kukopyay natin yung installer, dadalhin natin dun sa machine kung saan natin fa yung final na location niya, dun na natin i-install. So, after niya, sabi niya dito is, ito daw. So, the installation wizard opens, which is this one right here default installation directory which is this one so kung saan i-install or ilalagay yung um yung copy so if your your current computer is able to contain yung installer na medyo mabigat mga 3 gig i think if i'm not mistaken so ayan siya so program bentley as uh, engineering stat etc or you can change yung directory kung saan nyo install I'll, um, I'll just use yung default and then accept the end user license agreement of course, kailangan nyo muna sign if you uh, to avoid any legal repercussions so I've already read yung content nito and it's uh, reasonable and after nyan, it says here that press yung next button. We're given this window right here. So, ang i-click down natin, ito yung mga options. And then, namimili lang tayo and then aayusin natin yung deployment image location. Kung saan ilalagay yung installer itself. Alright. So, kung saan ilalagay yung installer. So, anyway, ito yung ating um Selection. So, unahin natin yung deployment image. Ano bang sabi niya? Ayan. Select the appropriate deployment image. Ang recommended is full UI mode. So that it would include all of yung mga included na mga installers. Full UI. And then yung deployment image, pili nyo kung saan nyo dapat ilagay. So in my case, let me just place it under desktop. And then maglalagay lang ako dito ng folder. Let me call this one Staad Installer. Right. So this one will be my directory. Okay. Para madali ko mahanap later. I'll click next. And then what does it say on yung susunod na steps? It will bring you to a page where the user can select the feature of the program to be downloaded. You can uncheck or activate any of yung deactivated mga features but as of yung requirement natin for the subject you select all and then you click layout right here right and then just wait for the installer to proceed with i mean a downloader to compile the installer and then once the installer is done sabi niya di, it will bring you a message saying ha um, created deployment image at the file location that you have indicated. And then after nyan, you can look for yung installer. So yung deployment image, yung dito nyan linagay. So do, do, doon nga hahanapin for yung particular na user na to. In my case, doon ko sa desktop linagay. So doon ko din hahanapin yung installer. I can copy that file, bring it to the the place where in dapat, niya, dapat natin install doon sa machine na dapat natin paglagyan nito and then doon natin install so I'm not going to let this run uh, because medyo matagal yan um, disclaimer lang medyo mas mabilis yung download ng uh, deployment image as compared sa on-demand installer because the on-demand installer process is uh, 
2 in 1 process siya. So, download and install. Ito naman, download lang kasi. Yung installation process, you will do it on a separate operation. Okay, so that's it for this video.